Entropy is the word given to us by Rudolf Clausius, which we understand today as the measure of order or disorder in a system. According to thermodynamics, an ordered system is a diverse one in which energy can be transferred from one place to another. A totally disordered system is one which is the same everywhere and in which, therefore, nothing can happen. In nature, a system will always seek to become disordered. In other words, entropy will always increase. We can see this, for example, when we release a gas into a closed room. The gas won't hang around in one place. Gradually, its molecules will spread out until it occupies the entire room. However, the universe itself seems to do just the opposite of what the second law requires. It forms ordered suns with planets revolving around them. It forms ordered galaxies with billions of stars swirling around their centers. Life seems to do the same thing, from humblest organisms to complex creatures like human beings and our civilizations. Life seems to hold back the tide of entropy and triumph over it. But all of life in human civilization comes at a heavy price. Every time we expend energy to build, to create, to form order out of disorder, some amount of energy is lost forever, never to be useful again. When matter comes together to form stars, planets and galaxies in one place, Unbeknownst to us, the universe is creating disorders somewhere else, even more than the order that is created. The triumph of disorder is inevitable. No matter how much sunlight we consume, how much food we grow, no matter how great the cities we build, the second law will get us in the end. As individuals, we will all return to the dust from whence we came and the natural resources that are the fuel of modern civilization will all eventually be exhausted, never to be recovered. That's the trouble with entropy. If you reduce it in one place, you create even more somewhere else. There's just no way around it. And one day, in the far distant future, all the stars will have burnt out and all the useful energy in the universe will be converted into disorder evenly spread out and absolutely useless. Everything, everywhere, will be at the same very low temperature, incapable of supporting even the most basic natural processes, let alone life. This will be heat death, the heat death of the universe itself.